All right, so this is going to be a video on how to run uh, Android XA6 in a virtual machine. I've already actually set one up, but I'm going to set up a, a second uh, newer virtual machine so you can see it. So there's two things you have to download before starting. One is the ISO for Android, and the other is uh, VirtualBox. So I'm going to include links to that in the description. So if you don't have them, Pause the video and go download them and install them, or install VirtualBox and put the ISO where uh, where you can find it. So once you've done that uh, and you load up VirtualBox, you'll want to start create a new virtual machine. Under here, choose uh, Linux, and I just go down other Linux 64-bit, and then I'll call it uh, Android uh, New. Hit next. Memory size, so I like to give Android at least two gigs. You can put more, but I'm just gonna give it two gigs. And then you can do create a uh, virtual hard disk. Create. Just choose the virtual box disk image, VDI. And then uh, just do dynamically allocated. So Android new. Uh, I'm gonna put this under I must have my virtual. You just find any space that you have available, but I actually have to. Uh, I'll just put it here. Yeah, G. There. Two gigs, Android new VDI, create. Perfect. So now you have this powered off. Uh, there's my, you know, my old one. You go to settings, Android new. Go to system. Check the processor, make sure acceleration is enabled, make sure you have, it should be on by default, but make sure you have your virtualization extensions enabled. And increase your video memory to 128 megs. And now this is the, uh, this is the place where you'll put the image. So under storage, you'll see IDE controller, you'll see your VDI, and then you'll see this, this empty uh, disk image. So under here, you'll choose optical image and you'll find your Android ISO, I've already found it, so I'm just going to find it here, but normally you just choose virtual disk, virtual optical disk file. Click on that. And then I think everything else should be set up by default. So you hit OK. Perfect. So now this is ready to go. So we can just launch it. Start the virtual machine. And you'll see it starting to load here. And under here you can choose uh, live CD from without installation or if you want to install in the hard drive which I recommend you can install it and just follow the prompts but we'll just go run without installation and you'll see it's gonna detect it and start booting Android so we'll wait a couple seconds and uh, Android's gonna load up for us while it's waiting one one important thing to note is it doesn't, this uh, virtual machine will support mouse capture. If you don't use the mouse capture, it's going to be a huge pain to interact with with uh, your virtual machine. Um, the other thing to note is you can tell the resolution here is pretty low. It's like, I'm assuming it's 640 by 480 or 800 by 600 by default, but um, I, would, uh, I would recommend... Uh, Updating it, and I'll have another video on how to uh, increase the resolution. So, so after you either install it or it boots, I recommend going to Input Mouse Integration, and then click on the window, and you'll get this thing, and just hit Capture. So now you can see my pointer is stuck inside this window, like it, like it's a separate machine. We can go through the prompts here. Next, skip the SIM card, skip Wi-Fi, skip anyway. It's gonna update the software you can sign your Google account if you want I'm just gonna skip it yeah, Google really wants you to sign in don't nothing like that all the Google services boom already into Android so this is Android 5.1 you can see you know things work you, know, you can swipe swipe down to get your notifications swipe up oh, if a little better at swiping 
You have your messages. I'm assuming you could even place like a Yes, you can't place a regular phone call, but if you set up like Google Voice or something, you could place a phone call there. But most importantly, you, sh you should be able to use your uh, your Android apps once you sign in. So you could actually use this virtual machine. Like if there was some app you really wanted to use on Android or use on your computer, you could utilize it from here. Um, like I said, in the next video, I'll do a, a tutorial on the installation process and then one on how to do uh, how to increase the resolution because man this thing is just way low res. All right.